Birdie num nums. Birdie num nums. How are they for dinner? How are they for dinner? Do you have a lessons for that minke? You cannot have a lessons. It's against the law to have a lessons without a minke. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I know that I'm the luckiest man in the world tonight because I get to pay tribute to a man who, through his creative genius, has heaped joy upon the world. Blake Edwards had a profound effect on me growing up. After I saw A Shot in the Dark, which I, I really believe is the perfect comedy, I went through a long Cato phase. No one in my family was safe. I would attack with hot warning. My sister was thir 13 years older than me and uh, having sex with my brother-in-law when I struck from the foot of the bed. Naked limbs flying everywhere, saliva. <laughs> she felt totally violated, but it did sharpen her senses. <laughs> the days of wine and roses made us cry, breakfast at Tiffany's made us fall in love, and everything else made us laugh like hell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the true masters, Blake Edwards. Can I help you out here? Come on, buddy. Here we go. Put your head down there. That's it. That's it. Come on, bud. You gotta go. Don't gotta... touch my Oscar. I don't want to touch your Oscar. I just want to get you to the podium, okay? Come on, bud. Now, this is why they wanted us to come in and rehearse. Yeah, but don't touch my Oscar. Oh, I won't. I won't uh -huh. touch it. Jesus. Beautiful. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, I gotta hang on to something. Hey, don't let me have these, man. I know, but just hold it. I'll get it from you in a minute. <laughs> Jesus. I don't care anymore. Wow. That felt good. Uh, I've been allowed a minute and a half of 90 seconds, my choice, uh, to thank everyone that uh, made it possible for me to receive this honor. Uh, when I started giving it some thought, serious thought, everyone, I mean, everyone uh, got me here tonight. The first person that came to mind when I tr tried to pick them out was a little guy who uh, worked on The Party, the film I did, called The Party. And he used to come out with a shovel and scoop up the elephant poop. And as he did, he sang, there's no business like show business. <laughs> and <laughs> then there was a confused Italian actor that we tried to, uh, to get him to understand what this OK sign meant in our vernacular. OK, we just said, just do that. And he always did this. And so we decided, better we conform to him than he to us. So from then on, uh, on the set, I would say, hey, uh, get the shot, Phil. Uh, cutting room, you, you drop a couple of frames just before the alligator swallows the chimp. Ralphie, you think Audrey can Sing it, Henry. The point is, each and every one who has contributed to this moment, friends and foes alike, yeah, uh, I couldn't have done it without the foes. I'm steamed, and I'm going to prove you wrong. 
Okay. So it's everyone from the little guy with the shovel to the discerning folks in the academy. My mother thanks you. My father thanks you. And the beautiful English broad with the incomparable soprano and promiscuous vocabulary. <laughs> thank you. And I sure as hell thank you.